The Lord be with you. Have you ever heard the expression, the more things change, the more they stay the same? This Sunday, we are going to take a walk into the book of Esther, which is a book that certainly would agree with that expression that gives evidence that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Since 400, 500 BC to the present day, there has been a lot of change. And yet, in, when we enter into the world of the book of Esther, what do we find? Attacks on power structures between men and women. Justice issues, justice being one thing for the poor and another for the wealthy. Discussions of foreigners versus those who are inhabitants from for generations of a land, of a place that they have called home. We see many different things about ordinary people and those in authority over them, the role of government and how it can be corrupt or honest. The more things change, the more they stay the same. But more than anything else, the book of Esther reminds us that while there are kings on thrones and presidents on thrones, God is on the heavenly throne and is the ruler over all. We need to know that. This book of Esther, one of two in the Bible that never mentions the name of God, the other being the Song of Song or the Song of Solomon. It goes by both names. And even though these books never mention the name of God, when you finish reading them, you know you have just experienced God on every page. The book of Esther is a story of extreme courage. Oh, not the kind of courage where you act because you are not afraid, but the greater courage where you act despite being afraid. And Esther had reason for great fear. What does fear stop us from doing? How does fear stop us from truly living our lives? As Christians, a simple example, as Christians, we should be so excited to tell other people about the greatest thing in our lives, our faith in Jesus Christ, God's love, our relationship with the living Lord, our Savior. And yet fear can stop us. What does Esther have to teach us about acting and sharing and speaking and standing up in spite of our fear? I think much. And if you would like to find out more, please join us this Sunday at Aldersgate United Methodist Church in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Our address is 2115 Selenese Road. We would love to see you. Worship begins at 1030, but come early. If you're new to our congregation, you will be family the instant you walk through our doors. And we would love to see you and welcome you and give you a place to belong. Until then, may you know God's peace. Amen.